on the roof. So we got a no heat call, even though it's like 70 degrees today. Anyway, um, there's a, this a three zone system. It's on this package unit, I'm guessing, because all three thermostats are calling for heat. They all say they're on. This is not warm. The inducer's running, but I got no heat. So we're gonna go ahead and open this thing up and see what's going on. So he okay, so we I'm jumping out R2W. And we got an inducer. And look at that, we got a bunch of uh, igniters. I wonder if there's some issues with the igniter. Uh, let's see. I don't see a pressure switch on this, so it might have a centrifugal switch. So basically it's kind of like uh, when you spin something, when it spins fast enough, it closes a switch. Um, and that's called a centrifugal switch, I believe. Uh, if that's not working or it's stuck or something, then it thinks that the inducer is not functioning. So it won't even try to call for um, the igniter. So we could also have it a bad igni ignition module. So we'll see what's going on. All right, so we have no igniter, so we want to see what's going on. So generally, um, the ignition module is going to be powered up when we're calling for heat. So this one here, it looks like the number one and number six is going to be our uh, R and C. So we want to see if we're receiving power there. If we are, that means this thing should be working. And that'll tell us that our centrifugal switch is working. So um, I can find out where these wires connect. And we can see if it's actually closed or not. So, because yeah, this is the, this goes to the motor. And then these go to that centrifugal, uh, I can't even say it, central, centrifugal switch. So, if this isn't closing, then that's why our igniter's not coming on. But, uh, if that's the case, we shouldn't be getting any voltage to the module uh, if it's not closing. If it is closing, then we should have voltage. If we have no voltage, uh, then it's probably the switch. If we do have voltage, then it's probably the module. Okay, so I've been looking at the schematic here just to make sure that I know how this works because every manufacturer is a little bit different. So basically, this is our 24 volts coming in right here. We have S18. This is our centrifugal switch, right? And it's going to go through uh, S, uh, S10, which if we look down here, S10 is a, uh, it's our primary high limit switch. Okay, so these are all just like limit switches. So then it's gonna go into this guy right here. Uh, this is our ignition module. Okay, so when the inducer is uh, powered up or cycled on, this guy's gonna close, which is gonna power up our ignition module. Okay, um, so there's actually 24 volts always going into it. Um, so it's gonna go ahead and call for the ignition um, when that switch closes. So I'm starting to think that um, we may have an issue with this. However, I want to make sure I'm getting that power to the module. So if this is not closing, uh, I should have no power here. If it is closing, I should have power here. Now, if I have power here, then that means that the, my module is no good. So again, if I have power here, it's the module. If I don't have power, well, then maybe the switch isn't closing. So we need to verify that. Okay, so we got our uh, meter hooked up through on to one and six. So we're gonna go ahead and power it up, see if we're getting voltage. Okay, so we are getting voltage. So that means our centrifugal switch is closed. So, another thing too is we wanna make sure, now this is a screw-on type uh, igniter. Um, so we wanna make sure that it was pretty, that it's tight. But this tells us that our centrifugal switch is closing. And to verify that, um, well, to show you how this works, I'm gonna go ahead and remove my jumpers and then just put it, uh, just power it back up so it's not calling for heat, just to show you that there will be no voltage unless there's a call, or basically unless that guy's spinning, so. So we have no call for heat. So as you can see, my meter never shows zero, but this is like millivolts. So you can see that there's no voltage. Now, if I call for heat, and I get that inducer spinning, uh, that's gonna set off that centrifugal switch, which should give us 24 volts. As you can see. Okay, so we got our igniter. It's not super dirty. I'm gonna clean it. Um, 
here's a weird thing. Here's our flame sensor. It looks like it's actually ignition, um, spark ignition assembly, but I guess it technically works with the same thing, just lower voltage. Um, so I'm gonna clean that too. But yeah, that, that's, that's actually kind of weird. I wonder if that's supposed to be like that. Um, there's a bunch of other units that are exactly the same. I'm gonna go check those out and see if they're like that too, but, but that's kind of weird. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get this clean, put it all back together, uh, make sure all our connections are tight, and then we'll try to fire it up again and see what happens. If not, I'm thinking it's just the uh, ignition control module might be bad. Okay, we're gonna power it up, so here we go. Now, keep in mind that that ignition control module, um, it's not gonna spark immediately once it receives power. Uh, typically there might be some kind of delay, you know, just to kind of let it do its thing and then it'll spark and then it'll open up the gas valve um, once it detects the flame. So, oh, we got ignition. So it looks like we might have just had a bad connector. So I'm going to go ahead and still quote them for a con ignition control module just in case because I was moving the wires around so it could have just been loose connections. So it looks like we're good to go but as you can see the igniter did not come on right away. It took a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and close this all back up. I'm going to go downstairs, make sure it's the right unit that I'm working on the right unit. Um, and then we'll go from there. But it did ignite this time. So we got some nice warm air. Yep. So sometimes just uh, pulling all the wires off, cleaning it, tightening everything uh, will fix your issue as you saw. So anyway, I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and uh, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching. <laughs>